Early today, market sentiment was shaped by changes in the rhetoric of the main central banks. At the beginning of the day, traders were pricing in the results of yesterday's meeting by F uh, Fed Reserve. However, there were some other important events during this session. Preliminary estimates on the Eurozone inflation fully met forecast by Chauvin a slowdown to 2.8% from a 29 In addition to yesterday's Jerome Powell's comments, the data dispels doubts about the global central bank that will be the first to cut the interest rate. It will be the European Central Bank. Thus, changing the curated disparity in favor of the euro is hardly possible. However, inflation figures did not cause a a drop in the single currency. The market remained almost stable. The fact is that such a scenario was priced in yesterday's during the press conference. Curiously, the publication of a Eurozone inflation data is not the key event of the day. All eyes were turned to the meeting held by the Bank of England. Although the benchmark rate was expected to remain the same, traders were focused on the disruptions of votes, which surprised everyone. Analysts expected that eight votes would be given in favor of an unchanged key rate. In fact, there were just six, like uh, at the previous meeting. Two voters, instead of um, one, supported the key rate hike. A cut was supported by only one vote. Despite the obvious disagreement between the board members of the British regulator, traders paid attention only to the number of votes for the interest rate hike, and they came to the conclusion that the Bank of England retained the possibility of a further monetary policy tightening. And in this light, the pound sterling started actively getting in value. However, investors may realize that the Bank of England simply does not know what decision to take under the current conditions. This, in turn, may provoke uncertainty, which may cause a fund outflow. In other words, the pound's appreciation could be soon replaced by a decline. Notably, the euro is following the British pound, and the situation is likely to remain the same until the end of the trading day. The euro-dollar pay is trading near the bottom of the downward cycle. Notably, the price has already touched the support level of 1.08. If the price settles below this level on a daily chart, the volume of short positions will increase. Otherwise, traders may see price swings or a rebound. High speculative activity fell to affect the pound-dollar pair considerably. The quote continues hovering within the sideways channel of 1.26 and 1.28, and the price fluctuation in the lower area of the sideways channel increases the possibility of a touch of the limit at 1.26, and this movement just points to the next cycle within the range. Some noticeable changes will take place once the pair breaks at the limit. In the event of this, the pair may leave the channel. And that's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.